Hi, second grade, Miss Daly here. I am going to be doing Wit and Wisdom Lesson 6. And for this lesson, our I can statement is, I can learn about a text by looking at the images. For this lesson, we're going to be veering a little bit off of informative paragraphs. We, as a second grade team, really thought that you did an amazing job for completing those informative paragraphs and all of the parts like finding evidence, creating topic statements, but we're starting a new part of distance learning that will really, really help us learn to the best of our ability, okay? So we're going to put a pause on informative paragraphs and start really diving into the text and how images can help us learn more about the text, okay? First, we are going to be studying this book, The Digestive System by Christine Taylor Butler. We've gotten a read aloud, we've found some evidence, we've learned a lot about this book so far, but we really haven't been able to dive into the images, okay? For this lesson, I'm gonna be asking a series of questions for you, all right? I'm also gonna give you some time to pause and some time to think about what your answer is going to be to the questions that I ask. Okay, I'm going to give you a good amount of time to really, really think. If you're alone and you're doing your work right now, it's okay to either think in your head or even whisper to your turtle something really quietly about an idea you have. Another thing you can do is if you have a sibling nearby, you can tell them an answer to the question. Or if you have a parent or a guardian nearby, you can tell them the question or the answer as well. All right, as long as you're really, really thinking hard about these answers, you'll be good to go. Okay, first, I see a couple images here. The first thing I want you to do is figure out what do you notice about these two images? What do you notice about either one? I'll give you about 15 seconds to think about what you notice. Okay, we will come back together. As I was noticing, some things I noticed were that both of these images show a person's body and what it looks like on the inside. Both of these images have arrows. Hmm. A difference that I noticed was that this one had times. All of these timestamps, like noon, 12.02 p.m., 6 p.m., lots of timestamps on this one. I don't see any on this one. Hmm. And for this one, it looks like it's a little more detailed. You can see the character's um, hat. You can see his hair. He has a t-shirt on. And this one just looks like a skeleton almost. Hmm. Interesting. They both show me almost the exact same thing. They're showing me the digestive system in both images. So it's got the main idea down. Both of them have the same main idea. Why do you think the author included so many images and pictures of the same thing? Why do you think the author included so many images of the same idea over and over again in their book? Give you about 15 seconds. One more time. Why do you think the author included so many images of the same thing, of the digestive system? Think, maybe tell a parent, a guardian, a sibling, and then we'll come back together in about 15 seconds. Okay, let's come back together. Maybe you came up with an answer along the same lines as mine. My answer is, I think the author included so many different pictures of the same thing because even though it shows us the same thing, we're still getting different information, such as times, timestamps, which I'm gonna have to think about why that's still there. And it still gives us arrows and pictures. It's still showing us the same thing, but it's telling us different information. It's also coming from different viewpoints as well. All right, it's pretty cool. 
Now, here's the question that I'm really wondering. Why do you think that the author included timestamps in this image? This one says noon, which is 12 o'clock p.m. This one says 12.01 p.m. Here's 12.02, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock p.m., midnight, 6 o'clock a.m., and 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna give you some time to think. Why do you think the author included the times in this image? 15 seconds. Okay, let's come back together. I want you to put your hands on your belly if you had the same answer as me, okay? I'm thinking that the author included these timestamps in this picture because it's showing us that digestion takes a long time. It takes from the time you take a bite of your food to the very next day to digest. How many of you have your hands on your belly? I do, okay? So it's telling us, man, all of these steps are happening at all different times of the day, and it happens throughout the day. Digestion doesn't take a bite down to your system and out. That doesn't happen so fast. It's a bite, and then it goes through all of these different courses all throughout the digestive system, and then the next day is when it comes out. That's pretty cool, all right? Next, I have a couple images. First, I want you to notice what is different about these two images? I'll give you about 15 seconds. What is different about these images? Okay. I hope you had some sort of thought in your mind. Think about it and see if yours matches mine, okay? I want you to grab a hold of both of your ears if yours matches mine. Here we go. Something I noticed that's different is that it looks like they don't show the same thing. This one looks like it shows a picture of the digestive system. I see stomach, small intestine, I see pancreas, liver. That looks like the digestive system. This one almost looks like it's close up. It looks like I have to use my binoculars in order to see it. It looks like, here it says, the wall of the small intestine. Okay, that's huge. I know this one shows me the digestive system. This one shows me just the small intestine. Interesting, that's one big difference. I notice a similarity though, is that they both have arrows. They're both giving us some information about what's in the image. Interesting, how many of you have your fingers on your ears? How many of you remember to do that in the first place? Okay, very nice. So I know that was pretty quick. Your job now is in Google Classroom, you will have a link to a Google form. I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna go to the Google form and it'll take me here. It'll say Wit and Wisdom Lesson 6. After watching the teacher's lesson, respond to the questions below. So you'll see number one, what do you notice or wonder about this image? And then there's a little text box. It says your answer. That's when you type in, okay? So you'll type in, I notice, or I wonder, blank, okay? Then you scroll down and it says, how does this image help you understand the text? All right, so how do these arrows, how does this diagram help you understand what the author is trying to tell you, okay? And then you'll put in your answer. You can even start it with, I think, or this image helps me understand the text by, all right? An example that I have on my mind is this image helps me understand the text because it shows me exactly where parts of the digestive system are, okay? Now, I'm gonna know if you watch this video if your answer is really similar to mine. Okay, but also make sure you're being creative, thinking outside the box. Maybe it's something we didn't touch on in this video. How does this image help you understand the text? Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher. I know Google Forms is a little tricky. There are some 
um, videos online for you to check out. Just please make sure that you press the submit button once you are done. All right. See you later, second grade. Bye-bye.